dedication and the work that it takes to do what these guys do. It's unlike any other sport in the world. Today's top motocrossers, they are, in my opinion, probably the toughest athletes in the world. Motocross bikes, you need to be precise, but it's more the different reaction time. Every lap is different, every corner is different. What they sustain in terms of fitness and training, and what they have to sustain in 20 Grand Prix, is really, really difficult in anybody's eyes. Every lap you are making, the track is changing. It's not like a MotoGP where you have just corners, uh, straights, but here the ruts are getting deeper because every lap 40 guys pass. You don't know what to expect. Team can be classified between the top 10 riders of the last 20 years. His physical fitness is exceptional. His technical ability on the bike is very good. He reads the ground, he reads the race. Production bikes are very, very similar to the factory bikes. I would say 85% it's about the same bike. On a Honda CRF production bike, he can win a Grand Prix. He has a very fast speed in the turns. Other riders, they have to brake, and Tim is able to enter full speed in the turns and keep the speed. For me, Tim, you know, he's a young guy still, he's won three world titles, and his raw speed is his key. I have a lot of respect to my bike, to the track, because I know that uh, you can foul really hard and you can get hurt. The order of danger is uh, very, very high. It's uh, more dangerous than the other sports. High speed and big fall. We are jumping, we have a big speed. Quickly something can go wrong and you go on the ground. I never think about these kind of things. Motocross is, yeah, it's dangerous sport. I think dangerous is living. The modern day racer, when I watch it, the intensity of the first four or five laps is huge now. You can hear all the fans around the track. They can really came close to the track, like barely two, three meters from where you pass. But it's really difficult to hear something around you because you really have to be focused 110%. One of his biggest attributes is his start technique. And in modern day racing, that is very key. So whatever Tim and Honda have put together, it works very well and that's probably something that the rest of the paddock look at and wonder how and why. His jumping is exceptional. All the modern day riders can jump extremely well, but it's that balance and coordination that he has through the lower part of his body where I think he really scores. When a rider approaches a jump, what he wants to do is get to the downslope in as short a time as possible. So they have what they call scrub, which is where they turn the bike very low against the ground to get to the downslope as quickly as possible to get the drive. And that's what you witness very often on the tabletop jumps. The top riders have got an art and they do it very well. To be a MotoGP rider, you need to start uh, when you are a kid. He chose the motocross direction and I think he chose the best option for his style, for his performance, for his skills and uh, he's doing a really great job. I have good relationship with Mark Marcus because we are both racing for HRC Honda. He's racing in MotoGP, I'm in MEGP. He's really fast, he can really ride. But for me, you know, I never ride road bike. I don't even have a license. You know, I never try, so uh, definitely in the future, one time, I would like to try it. Tim has a very strong positive mind, he has a very close-knit group around him, which I think is key. 
Definitely it was not easy, especially in the beginning is always tough, uh, you don't have sponsors. We were struggling, uh, didn't have a lot, but my dad was really passionate about racing. He really showed me everything what I know about motocross and you know, without him I wouldn't be here where I am now. I started to carry 243 number back in 2009. It means a lot to my family and also to me because it's a birthday of my brother who passed away in motocross. I know that every race when I'm racing he's always with me and it's kind of like when I win we both win and you know it's an honor that I can be that guy to wear that number. To be a world champion in motocross, you have got to be very special. So for someone to win one world championship is absolutely amazing. Tim with his age, three world titles to his credit already, I think his legacy in the sport is already set. Many people say if you follow your dreams, if you are willing to put hard work in, one day it's going to pay off. with an amazing bike and as long as Tim and the bike are working together, who knows what's ahead of him.